Okay, guys, it's time to acknowledge that this is happening again. Seraphine mains have invaded Summoner's Rift, and they are completely dominating with one perfect ultimate. So, get ready because some of these outplays might blow your mind. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy it. And as much as I love Janna mains, I must admit that this outplay was too much overcalculated. This guy is a perfect example of why Seraphine is still a great pick in the mid lane. We're almost 35 minutes into the game, and she has 650 ability power. Look closer at how quickly enemies took advantage in this team fight by wiping out almost everyone. However, they disappeared even faster with just one combo from her. There's a prolonged 2v2 battle between bot lanes, and while Zira is not in her lane, Little Sup decided to seize that opportunity to move there and help as much as possible. He needed to step into vision, and the enemies instantly took a step back to a much safer position. But that wasn't enough, because this mate can make a really good surprise. At this moment, the biggest problem for the blue side is the almost fully built Aurelia. Even if she's one level behind Seraphine, we all know how this champion can carry even the toughest battles. But let's not forget that Seraphine is also fed, and forcing a battle in one of those places might turn the tide in the wrong direction. This time, the enemies have a disgusting frontline, and even if the enemy Skarner was taken down, there is still a huge Cyan who can tank and stay much longer. Keep an eye on the enemy backline and how they still stay behind Cyan with low health. But apparently, everyone didn't expect that Seraphine would be more dangerous than Twitch and Yumi. Sometimes, enemies can be your best friend, and this is a great example of how one Aatrox pull might be useful. Without it, Seraphine's ultimate would have hit only him. However, thanks to him, the direction of it was slightly changed, and it went into one of the most satisfying plays that I've seen.
It's a moment where Kaiza aggressively goes solo against two opponents while Seraphine is a little behind, but she won't be able to do anything, and the enemies will probably escape. To be honest, I wasn't sure why Seraphine still casted her ultimate, because there was no chance to catch the enemies until I noticed this perfect team play for both of them. I can imagine the happy face on the enemy Zed because almost every Zed thinks that Seraphine is very weak against him, and we can say that she is just another mid lane opponent for him. Even if he is one level behind, he still goes all in, diving our queen. But the truth is that he's just closed on mid lane with her. I believe most of you will recognize Kiara, she's one of the greatest support players, but she can also make godlike moves on the mid lane, but to be honest, this was the game where timing was not on her side because as you can see, her ultimate is still on cooldown when enemies went all in, but it doesn't mean that this clip can't have a happy ending. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.